Our good friend John Schreiber is back in the house. Not our house, but his house, but, you know, the virtual house. President and CEO of the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, otherwise known as NJPAC. Good to see you, John. Same to you, sir. Lovely to see you, too, even virtually. Yeah, um, and all, all kinds of great things happening in NJPAC. Go on their website to find out more. The information will come up. But today, John, we're not plugging NJPAC. Philip Roth. Uh, it's one of my many Roth books. Okay. This is actually a book written by Claudia Roth Pierpont. Right. Um, you have, you and your team at NJPAC have Philip Roth Unbound coming up March 17th to March 19th. This will be seen before and after, doing it in collaboration with the great folks at the Newark Public Library, where, in fact, Philip Roth donated all of his work to that library. Hey, John, what's this Roth Unbound thing all about? It's a chance for us to examine and uh, celebrate and illuminate, you know, the work of this remarkable uh, novelist who, as you know, uh, I think was probably the the most important uh, uh, voice in fiction uh, in the last 75 years. Um, we think about the great novelists, American novelists who came to uh, to our attention at you know in the last century, beginning of this century. You know, think of Saul Bellow, James Baldwin, uh, 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 Bernard Malamud, uh, John O'Hara, John Updike, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Roth is still read uh, uh, as much today as he was when he was in his writing prime. He wrote twenty seven novels in his lifetime. And he was a Newark boy. He was born in the Wee Quake section. He went to Wee Quake High School. Um, he uh, 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 used Newark as a canvas for a lot of what he wrote. So there's a lot of Newark uh, in Roth. And we thought it would be really fun to, uh, on the occasion of his, what would have been his 90th birthday, uh, celebrate that work and examine that work with more than a dozen events uh, uh, over the course of a weekend from the 17th to 19th of March. All kinds of events. And John will talk more in detail about those events. Um, they're going to be writers, actors, artists, journalists, public intellectuals, uh, all kinds of folks, historians. But but help folks understand this, John. I We actually did, if you look on our website, steveautobato.org, you'll see a past segment we did um, with a representative from the Newark Public Library on Roth. And so I want to make sure people understand this, John. It wasn't just the week wake section of Newark. It was also the strong Jewish community in Newark at that time that Roth grew up in. How important were those Jewish roots to Roth as a person and as a as a writer? I mean, I, I, Roth, was, Roth wasn't a religious person. He wasn't a, an observant Jew, but he was a cultural Jew. You know, uh, <laughs> I define that for folks. Well, it's I'm, a, I'm a cultural Catholic, so go ahead. <laughs> it's the food. It's the food. It's the comedy. It's the family. It's I mean, it's all those things. You know, it's things that it's things that the that that those of us who define you know who identify as Catholic, uh, any number of, you know, r religion is so much more than uh, uh, observance. You know, it's it about is culture. Religion. Yeah, yeah. So, so Roth, I think, was a cultural Jew. Um, uh, uh, you know, Jewish culture sort of informed a lot of his writing. Um, you know, whether it's Portnoy's Complaint or, uh, or, you know, or Patrimony or American Pastoral. You know, he looked at uh, uh, the world through eyes that he knew, and that was the Jewish experience to a to a, to a reasonable extent. Goodbye, Columbus, in there. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, first one I read. Played, well, and one of the first ones he wrote. You know, that goes back to 1958, you know. Mm. Uh, in fact, if if you think about Roth in the movies, of all the movies that were made of Roth books, that was the one he liked the best. Um, really? Yeah, interesting. It was Richard, remember, it was Richard Benjamin. Richard Benjamin. Oh, my God, what a great character. Who, who Allie, else played with him? Allie McGraw was the oh. other. She played the she played the female lead. Um, That's pre-love story. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, so, yeah absolutely. Yeah, well, uh, that, let me, well, well, that will the movies, the books that were turned into movies, part of the Roth Unbound experience at NJPAC? No, we're not screening any movies. What we are doing is we're going to do a full reading of uh, a bridge for the stage of the plot against America, 
which uh, uh, will have nine actors, including uh, Tony Shalhoub and... Uh, uh, is that J uh, John uh, Turturro in that? Turturro is on Sunday. We're doing... Uh, uh, we, we commissioned uh, Turturro and Ariel Levy of The New Yorker to do a stage oh. adaptation of Sabbath's Theater, which was uh, Roth's favorite book. The, are you, is, that a, is that one that you are familiar with? I have it right in my Roth library. Yeah, so th that was Roth's favorite book. It is hilarious. It's disgusting. It, I mean, it's everything uh, everything you love best about Roth. And John turned it into a play, and uh, he's going to do a scene from it um, on the Sunday night of the festival, which would have been Roth's uh, 90th birthday. I'm curious. Roth, controversial. No doubt controversial. No doubt wrote and said things sometimes about women that would not play today on any level. How, to what degree does the Roth Unbound exhibit series weekend festival at NJ Pack deal with how incredibly controversial Roth was? It, it actually does. It uh, does. We, yeah. We wanted to make sure that, that the harsher sides of, of, of Roth also got uh, a, a chance to be exposed and illuminated. So, you know, we have a we have a panel that um, is called "What Gives You the Right," and uh, it's a conversation about uh, uh, the the ethics of representation, identity, the limits of artistic freedom uh, in fiction. We have another one where we talk about Roth in relation to American history. Roth was a great historian. If you read the books uh, as you do you know that uh, American history sort of informed uh, a, a lot of what he did. So we're talking about that. Um, we're going to do a um, Philip Roth bus tour of Newark uh, that that Liz Del Tufo. Uh, the great uh, Liz Del Tufo. Exactly. The, Who knows yeah. Newark better than anyone. And let me tell you, the, the Philip Roth bus tours, we have two of them. They sold out immediately. They were the first things to sell out. You know? Go, is it going through Roth's old neighborhood? Yeah, the whole, every place that was important to Roth and every stop along the way, uh, there'll be a reading from some Roth novel that, that is cited in the, you know, in the Newark thing. So oh, we're doing a night at Hobbies. Roth was a big comedy fan. He loved stand-up comics. He loved the Bush Belt. So this is a sort of tip of our hat to that. And we'll have all the noshes and, and we'll have three stand-ups. Did you say nauseous? Did you just say nauseous? I did say the word nauseous. It's correct. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beclemmed. <laughs> you know, I don't get a okay. lot of chances to say the word nauseous, so thank you. You know, But is it appropriate if I say I'm beclemmed? Is that the right word right now? Sure, sure. You can, you can get away with that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that is John Schreiber, uh, the great the CEO, president of New Jersey at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, Philip Roth, Unbound, March 17th to March 19th, and uh, doing collaboration, done the collaboration with the Newark Public Library, where Roth's work uh, lives. Check out all John uh, John's work at the NJ uh, at NJ Pack, not just the Roth stuff, but the other stuff. Good, good to see you, my friend. Likewise, stay well, please. Thank you. You got it. That Thanks. guy's good, and NJ Pack's the best. See you next time, everyone. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Valley Bank. Seton Hall University. New Jersey's Clean Energy Program. New Jersey Sharing Network. PSENG. The Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey. And by PSC. Promotional support provided by NJBiz and by NJ.com. Did you know that you can save money while saving the environment? New Jersey's Clean Energy Program offers incentives, programs, and services that benefit New Jersey residents and businesses, as well as educational, government, and nonprofit entities, helping us save money, energy, and the environment. Learn more at NJCleanEnergy.com or call 866-NJ-SMART. New Jersey's Clean Energy Program, lighting the way to a clean energy future.